Everyone anyway for more Slay the Spire has been a patch, which mostly adds new, some new sound effects and new relics, which I hope to see, hopefully. Uh, we got done with the defect, right? Everyone's level 15. Except for, I, I guess, silent, don't want to be up here. Okay, everyone's level 15. Ironclad. Deploy. Common? I think I just bet. Alright, let me look at the map. Merchant's card removal. Oh, we can do. Okay, with that, we can go aggressive on shops and try to get just an itty bitty tiny deck and do something cool with itty bitty tiny decks. May I go this way to hit two shops? If I really, if we really double down on this idea. Oh yeah, we're weakened. I should have struck him. Where we saved 3 HP, we'll heal 6, we'll build, it's fine. Infernal Blade, Body Slam, Clothesline. You can like, Body Slams? Oh, why is my phone ringing right now? <laughs> why? Every time! I don't get phone calls, only when I'm doing something. And a lot of the time, I'm not doing anything. Uh, body slam we get if I got very defensive they move a bunch of cards and go some sort of weird crazy defensive deck with body slams I don't know. fossilized helix prevent the first time you lose HP in combat that sounds awesome at first I think it's a newish one because at least I, have, I haven't seen it at least uh, corruption that seems okay that's I'm getting a little too crazy there <laughs> first remove a card remove one of these strikes strike removed anything else we can do we can save the money just save the money we're not doing a tab we're doing opposite clash whatever that is so nothing else we really need. We can use Warcry because that cycles a little bit. I'm not sure this deck archetype makes any sense. Oh, without some more. Oh, uh, we get more money. That lets us do more in this second shop we're going to. But we are kind of hurt now. So here, I want to not take as much damage. So I'm going to throw that. Throw up the block. And then kill both of you in one turn. We just, yo, hold up. That doesn't make any sense, does it? If I remove every card but anger and just anger, 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 that seems crazy and stupid. Is that even a thing? I'm changing my mind. We're gonna try that. That seems terrible. We're trying it. I've never had like an anger run before, so let's do it. I've never had an angry run, so let's go for it. I'm going to gamblers these two out of here. Not what I was hoping for at all. Something for either anger or a uh, body slam. We still have our uh, buffer effect off the helix, which is awesome. So I'm gonna take ten. I'm gonna. It's gonna. I'm gonna take ten no matter what. So let's anger you, and then strike you twice, and then I guess it doesn't. The last one doesn't really matter because that'll eat the buffer, and I take ten. Wow! Immediately draw all those dazes. Wow! It's. Uh, Okay. Brutal. I guess that, I mean, the sentries do, normally aren't that hard, but they do punish itty bitty baby decks like this. And I'm, wow, I'm, wow, I'm about to die sentries. <laughs> no, no, I'm having a real silly deck idea we're playing with. Don't kill me, not so early, not so easily. Have some mercy. I, I can heal after this, okay. If I survive. You have to block every time. Ugh. Amazingly, we survived. I think how they're going to survive. Wow, we're going to lose the sentry fight. I don't think the deck, that silly deck idea I was playing with, really works anyway. Yeah. Here, here, rip this run. I don't think that deck idea would work anyway. If A lot of those ideas, a lot of fancy ideas like that really require... Um particular combination. So that that could be really good if we had, say, the Unceasing Top, or well, what's it, you play three cards and you get a stat upgrade. Any of those kind of relics would be super strong with that, but clearly that's not... <laughs> so there's a small chance we could have gotten into that. So maybe we should go hard. Let's just go on a normal, normal path. 
Or any path we can go with a little extra little extra juice, a little extra elite juice. I really oh I like this right hand path. Maybe we have less fun this time. But it's a video game trying to work out. <laughs> I pursue the fun options. But that's my right as a gamer. I don't have to min-max every time. I should have min-max killing this dude. He's dead anyway, but... Oh. Sure, great hemokinesis cleave. Cleave's nice away for us. Which, hopefully I get it right here? Yeah! And then we can... Take you down. Don't play that block, and only take 8 damage. So I take 2 total damage from this fight. Not too bad at all. Perfected Strike. Oh, and Heavy Blade. Oh, and Metal Size. All these are fine. Uh, Perfected Strike, get a fat, offensive deck that does a lot of damage, which I'm okay with. Metal Size is a really good power, especially with that same idea. Heavy Blade for extra strength. But right now, we have no strength. I think Perfected Strike is just the one that makes most sense right now, because it's a, both immediately useful and sets up a deck archetype. You have nothing for me, do you? Oh, except for a, an offering, which is amazing. Uh, a wonderful card, that offering. Remove a card for seven, yeah, sure. I'm leaning towards Bash. When am I ever going to Bash all this? Because I don't remove Strikes for Perfect Strike. Yeah, I do want to remove Basic Strikes. We want other cards that are Strike, that aren't. Or just remove the Defends. Oh, that seems crazy. Let's do that. Uh, I don't think I need to lose six HP in this fight. Should be able to get away without losing any HP in this fight. I lied, because we don't have we've reduced the number of defense in our deck. Uh, I don't want not I don't not want defensive cards, but I don't want to give my strikes for the sake of perfected strike, and I also want better defensive cards. Iron Wave could replace that. It's fine. I don't think I need it. Rage. If we do lots of attack, it's not doing enough attacks to really justify rage, which goes really well with anger. I've never done that before, but it's potentially like infinite block. If you have a perfect deck set up of like just rage and anger and unceasing top, and uh, then you're fine. Our wave usually find be a little too weak. I'll skip it. My bronze here. Sure, they're gonna be shooting me a lot. We don't need to be sitting on potions. It's a, it's a lot of damage about to take. Back to strike 18. Well, that's offering. Let's see what else I can get. So that's 18. 6. Take 0 damage, you take 3. Both of you are about to die to thorns. Or just one attack. Or just a cleave. Yeah. Sign. I still take 10. Yeah, this deck has no defense. It has three because it has three blocks in it. Like the entire deck is three blocks. I'd really like to shrug it off or something similar. Entrench is definitely not what's going for. Rupture. We have ways to deal damage to ourselves. That might be too way too aggressive though, because we don't have enough block. <laughs> we don't have enough uh, defense. Yeah, I should do a perfected strike. Rupture, still wait for rupture to do anything. Probably should have played my strength potion. Cat, the door's closed, I'm sorry. Okay, I was gonna wait to see if it made any noise before I opened it for you. Man, so these guys want to open. Alright, shoot. Get, get out of here. Ugh, the daily let the cat out of the office. Break. Ugh. Pennib is super good. Clash, we're gonna have lots of attacks. Clash is probably a good idea. Metallicize, though, if we're not playing lots of blocks, getting that little extra bit of block pumping through is also good. But we kill things super fast, but we're not gonna kill them fast. Um, I'll take a Clash. But I am down for a Metallicize. should come back around. 
Gum curse with that. Do we have a shop? We have a shop immediately after this. Absolutely. I'm not going to look at anything else. We're moving this card before I forget. Pawn pick up, obtain an additional copy of a card in your deck. Do I get to choose that or is it random? Also, a bunch of strikes, we can get Mind Blast. Yo, probably. Like, I do want this new relic because I haven't had Dolly's Mirror. Is it a, a card I choose or is it just a card? Someone mind a second perfection strike floating around. Or even another offering. Or I just take Mind Blast. Been a while since I had Mind Blast. I'm going to take the mirror because we haven't had it before. And it is, you do get to choose. Meh. Meh. Let's rupture into offering. Into a... Bash into a perfected strike. Almost killed him one turn. Spot weakness, a lot more strength. Shrug it off. Hey, some defense for it. Defense for us. Defense. I'm on defense. Gavlin, I might want to. Uh, who's our boss? Say, so might want to strength potion. I can save the strength potion for this. For upcoming matters. Wow. Well, all right. This is really not the. Really not what I wanted to see. Killed my offering for no reason. Twenty fourteen plus one, so I really want to do that. That's maximum damage. Pen nib, why can't you be your why why can't you be around when I have my strongest attacks in my hand? Uh five, I take twenty. I really want to reduce that damage. Draw last that little. Gain plated armor. Well, with our... Man, we're going so hyper-aggressive. I don't want to do that. Gain energy to serve each turn is also really good. for taking so much stupid... That's insane. This doesn't make any sense. This is, this, this is a suicidal run. I should have drank my strength potions. Probably would have been good to help me not get slime crushed. Don't need to draw any block. Eh, we can draw a card, maybe get vulnerability bash. Nope. I completely was not tracking pen nibs. So I lost a bunch of damage from not pen nibbing the perfect strike. Twenty-seven damage, sir. That is too much damage. Need to calm down on that damage. Clash could be really hard to pull off. One's down, just a 30 health slime. We should be able to handle him. Not too. Yeah, it's fine. So crazy aggressive. Burn or Reaper? I mean, getting the extra health can be really nice. How many cards are you playing? We're not playing that many cards. We don't want extra wounds. Transfer strikes defense. We don't want to get rid of our strikes. We're going to get the extra energy velvet choker. Which also limits the number of cards we can play, but we're not playing cycling that many cards, so I'm okay with that. Not super confident. This is very, very aggressive. Go this way. Get some events occurring. Oh no, we have to play Berserk to get Clash. Uh, get Clash of one, uh, available. Is that just one shot to you? And then, oh, Velvet Choker! What have you done? <laughs> Maybe should have made him vulnerable to hit him with that uh, Reaper. A little extra healing. Yeah, I don't. I think it's a little too aggressive to really work out, huh? 
You'll know pain, heavy blade, are we exhausting a lot of stuff? I don't think so. We have two cards that exhaust, and we only get three blocks per. Uh, applying weakness would be great. We have the extra. Well, some strikes would be good. I have a strike, a uh, perfected strike deck with, like, no strikes sitting around. Let's just burn, whatever, no defense. We're doing a no defense run. Don't think, I'm pretty sure that's never worked ever, because it's bad. I want to try it, though. Cleave, Reaper, knock you down, knock you down. Bash you to almost death. Bash you to almost death. Okay. So first, let's shrug it off. One, two, three. We can knock you down. It still takes a bit. But we can rupture. We can berserk. Now I'm taking eight damage, which is fine. No, it's not, because I can't actually knock you down, because I miscounted my energy. Oh, no. I <laughs> did not. Oh, that was bad. Oh, okay. Can I get a cleave in here? No, that's fine. I'll just kill them. The regular attacks or whatever. Berserk, I think this is my first time playing with the redesigned Berserk, because once upon a time, it didn't make you vulnerable. Another spot weakness? Do I have a spot weakness? I have no spot weakness. Flex might be good. We are doing... Yeah, zero cost skill will be fine. This guy's... Painful. Don't hurt me. Snake plant. You're very scary. But pendant, vulnerable target, yeah, it's okay. That helped a lot. I don't have enough cars that hurt me for another rupture. I can barely justify the first one. Give me a relic, please. Sundial, okay. This guy is also book stabbing's nightmare. Make him vulnerable and then hit him for 30. I would like to heal off of them, but I just don't even have time. And we have to play Berserk, but these don't kill me if I go Berserk. So I just can't play the Clash. These don't kill me anyway. <laughs> the book of stabbing is no joke. Alright, we, we kinda knew this one was a real silly real silly experiment. So that's how far you get on level 15 if you try to go without any defenses. But anything can work in this game. There's so many, there's so many relics that function so many ways. So many card uh, on top of the cards. So you have synergies within the cards, but also so many synergies, so many different relics that even a terrible deck in very specific functions, very specific scenarios can function. So that's why I don't really mind doing something terrible because there's a very small chance that we get exactly the relics we need to make it good. One, two. And if we don't get, I mean, if we don't just get like a standard great deck, then. I mean, we don't really have a choice, do we? Let's go up this way, hit some events, get two elites, a shop, and then finish up maybe another elite. But there's another shop. That's fine. Yeah, just get that last shop. That's fine. That's fine. Since we lose all our gold, we get the unceasing top. That is a game making. I don't want to get these events anymore. I want cards. But now I also do want events so I can move cards. That's hard. Let's 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 compromise. Because unceasing top, if you don't know. Whenever you have no cards, draw a card. So it's infinite, potential infinite value. If our deck is set right. Take no damage. He's no longer vulnerable. He's 21. Ah, I might, I might take some stupid damage here. Because I can only do 9 damage. But he's vulnerable. We do, we do take 9 damage here. But he's dead now. He's dead now. Add a card. Costs one less each time you lose HP. Havoc. Ooh, Havoc. Can cost zero. Warcry itself costs nothing. Havoc itself can cost down to zero, so I'll play Havoc. And having a smaller deck works really well with the uh, Unseason Top. Also, just having 
zero cost cards that you can cycle through infinitely. I should have bashed made him vulnerable first. Probably did that. Block question disarm. Is exhaust that exhaust shrug it off draw a card? I feel like disarm exhaust itself and getting keeping our deck small is important here. How about you don't hit me for twelve, buddy? I like being a max HP, another Havoc. Or just an Infernal Blade. Which can also cost zero, but then the attack it gives you doesn't cost zero forever. We can get Whirlwind, we can save a lot of energy, and maybe get a crazy Whirlwind pop-off with our with this nonsense. That's a lot of HP, but we're upgrading cards, eh, it's alright. It's not what I was going for entirely. Remove a card for 7 HP. We do want to remove cards. Came back, some money's fine though. Uh, uh, mm. It's only 7. Do we want to remove? Probably only strikes. Weave. Go here, fight this guy. The goblin could be a problem. I don't have anything I'm, I'm fishing for, am I? Maybe make a vulnerable, we'd just probably disarm him before he wakes up. Could be very helpful. <sighs> One more turn. I right, wake up. It's a real rough fight to our goblin uh, fight. Hmm, don't have very long to kill him. Alright, so this turn I am nearly dead. I have to do 54 damage to him before he attacks me again. Seems unlikely, especially me being uh, strength. Yeah, make some problems with my strength. 13 or... is that? 12. So I obviously want 13. Can I do 34 damage to him before he hits me next turn? I don't think I can do 34 damage next turn. I think I'm just dead. Uh, 4, 8, 12, yeah, just no hope. Should have went much more... Uh, so much more passive. Way too aggressive. Yeah, unceasing top, we don't need to be aggressive about anything. We can just build off unceasing top. Ah, uh, what was I thinking? Just play, just go. Oh, that burns so bad. Oh, no, they'll try. At least, man, reach the first bones. Oh, that was handed to me on a silver bladder. Not really, but I mean, the uh, unseason top's still so good. One, two. One, two, three. Goblin could be a very vicious boss. These guys could be super annoying enemies when they're both attacking you right out of the gate. So you automatically take some damage. Oh, I'm weakened. Oh, no, he's dead. True Grip Body Slam. Ugh. Ugh. Ironclad. Oh, uh, we can do crazy Body Slam block nonsense, potentially. Right now, not really, but, you know, potentially. So we're going to be leaning towards a defensive deck. Also, really want to upgrade body slam so it costs zero, because that makes it suddenly so much better. Combustion. Oh, that can actually go with a defensive deck here. Yeah, just take my stupid potion, dude. Please. Tiny chest. Awesome. Thank you. Unfavorable events. Yeah, right. All right. Bad.
bash injury. Don't really want our bash. Juggernaut? Yeah, sure, we're doing defensive. Don't really want fire reading. Definitely don't want shame. He disappeared. Don't need to combust against this guy. Don't really need to buy a slam either. Could have done 11 damage to the 10 there. Clash, flex, rupture. I don't think we're doing lots of. Oh, a combustion, obviously. Combo. No, not the goblin again. Oh, this is a good start, however. Let's just gain strength for a couple turns and start hitting. That was. Oh, he's gonna wake up anyway. Doesn't matter. Okay. Hello, the goblin. Take 10 damage here. Well, I can be vulnerable. It's starting him really hard. With that, 15 damage? Yeah, let's just, just burn him down. I'll take a full 20, which sucks. Oh, it sucks against the goblin. Take a full 20. But he's dead. That's not too bad. Took, I mean, he took a hefty amount of damage. Let's kill the juggernaut. Head nib is phenomenal. Shrug it off's good. Grab here. Grab bottle flame so that pff, I don't want any of these attacks. Body slam, I suppose we can get upgraded so that it is cost zero. I <laughs> guess I didn't need to do that. I lost a little bit of damage there on him for two. Yeah, let's hit him for two more. Because we do need Mr. Gremlin knob here. Super dead. Super fast. Ugh, that's not what I was going for. I don't want to give him more strength this turn. Alright, this came a little late. He's probably going to kill me unless he decides not to punch me very hard, which is unlikely, because that's all he does. Punch. Just stop attacking me, dude. For like one turn, can you stop attacking me? Now we're pen nibbed. Probably, if I do that backward, no, I wouldn't have had enough energy. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, oh, so close. Why are these level 1 elites just destroying me? Try again. Try it again. Just go back in there, son. <laughs> Keep your head up. I don't need I don't need your whale. I don't need your pity whale. Elite. Maybe this whole uh, fighting elites is a bad idea anymore. That seems dumb. Why would fighting elites to get relics like, be, not be the right decision? Uh, not a great distribution of uh, enemies. Doesn't go that way. Yeah, it's fine if I go that way. So I do like to heal before the elite fights. Because now, oh, why, why would you do that? And do zero damage and take one extra day. That didn't make any sense. That was a bad play. Now we can't just rely on getting a good relic or some good cards to carry us. We still need to <laughs> still need a little bit of luck and some actual utilization of our skills. Anger. I haven't done an anger deck yet. Still, I don't think now it's time to do it. Spot weakness is just a solid strength card. Even though we don't do strength, it's it's just it's good. We are getting a shop kind of soon. This is more expensive than our current move card would be. We don't need to heal. I think I'll just leave Cleric alone. Normally I'd just say, alright, Cleric, whatever, but he'd be a little more cautious right now. Okay. Zero damage. It's a good way to start this fight. 612, I can't kill him here, so do that. Pop his curl, I'll be the next, dead next turn. I've taken zero damage.
Carnage, I like Carnage. I really want Corruption to work, but I can't really take Corruption unless we have the Relic. Uh, Dead Branch. Max HP, Perfected Strike, it's a lot, Flex is a little bit of Strength. Sword Boomerang's fine, especially if we get some extra Strength, maybe I do do a Strength build, do Sword Boomerang. Because it's already 9 damage for 1, we get a little extra Strength, that's a lot more damage. Now I think we go Upgrade a card. What do I upgrade? Sword Boomerang's more damage. You're more damage, a lot more damage, and you're a lot more Strength. I want the Strength, I think we're doing a Strength, I guess we're doing a Strength build. Or some sort of Strength. Concept. I love the Regal Pillow. Bludgeon's kind of. Bludgeon's done. I mean, it's, it's pretty expensive for what it does. I thought card removal cost. No, it costs 50 of the mask, duh. If you have the relic, it costs 50. I also really like me on the bone, but can't afford it. Yo, if only I took the anger, we'd get rage, and that'd be the first time I've ever had both of those cards. We gotta take the Regal Pillow. If I get hurt, we can rest and be much better off. And Sing Red's also good. Let's take Sing Red. And we leave. Not removing any cards. Let's go. Got kind of a weak start. He's also, you know, that's a weak start for him. Gain two energy. I can't do much other than bash him. Make him stronger. Make us both stronger. So he hits me a little bit harder this turn. I should be able to hit him a lot harder this upcoming turn now. There we go. 30 damage for one is good. Effect Strike Impervious. Oh, give me that Impervious. And upgrade that Impervious. And an upgrade Seeing Red too. Gorgeous. Alright. How aggressive can I be? I don't want to be that aggressive. That's what keeps killing us. Don't go for a second shop. Because I can go for two elite fights in a row. That seems silly. Remove a card, transform a card, upgrade a card. What would I upgrade? What would I remove? What would I transform? Probably not going to transform anything. You do another stack of damage. Let's upgrade Sword Boomerang. So I think this is turning into a strength based. Alright. Uh, strength based deck. Or strategy right now. The old 20, 36. He won't die. Go impervious, just take no damage. And then strike you, so you'll die soon. It's kind of a weak hand I had. Alright. And you do effectively nothing, because you did. Ooh, Inflame. Ah, oh, that's probably just good too. I'm gonna take Inflame for just at least some guaranteed uh, strength gain. I can upgrade it as well. So we're going for like a heavy blade would be nice. I think it's mushroom, so I think I can take this fight. Especially with a explosive potion here. Alright, that's pretty that's pretty good. It's a pretty good opener. That was amazing. Oh what, when vulnerable we take less damage than we would otherwise. Oh we do want card draw. Who's our boss? It's slime slimer. They don't attack that often, let's go look at bronze. Apply weak, apply vulnerable. All these are two costs. I'm not really into the two costs, especially for not as much damage. Applying weakness is great. Vulnerability is good. Like it's, the debuffs are good, though. And if I'm just going for the debuff, then I'll take Shockwave. And you're the weakest. Probably you drop Explosive Potion in this fight.
Okay. Definitely seeing red here. We then shockwave him. Get him with that sword boomerang. And take zero zero damage. Solid fight so far. So far his first floor is going very well. First round, first boss fight, the first area. Let's not take that extra 7 damage. So you're down, and there's just this guy is pretty weak as well. Okay, solid fight. Solid sentry fight. Another carnage, or I just want to shrug it off for some little extra defense, also draws cards, which is solid. Headbutt could get me like a spot weakness or in flame or impervious that I haven't that I wasn't able to play. I think I just take shrug it off. I don't have a lot of defense floating around here. And then I upgrade a card. Upgrade shrug it off to eleven block. I'm thinking. I think I shrug it off to eleven block. Hello, Slimer. Let's make you vulnerable for all the longer. I get gooped. Uh, let's draw cards. In flame. Seeing red. Don't draw more cards. It's not attacking. So the spot weakness would be garbage draw. We can hit him. We can draw one more cards. That's fine. He's interrupted, we don't get crushed, and he is split into two kind of healthy enemies. Want to eat 18 damage? We can eat 18 damage. We're healthy. The faster this fight ends, the better. Neither of them are attacking. So what? I shouldn't have even hit him. Should have just waited until I can get him lower. Uh, draw three cards so I can play one. Is that even worth it? I don't think so. Alright, he's gonna hit us. Let's draw three cards so I can there we go. Shrug it off. Much, much better turn. I think I do shockwave these guys. And throw up the defense. Take ten, which is brutal, but now they're all debuffed. So it's not going quite as elegantly as I had hoped. Of course, I'm also frail forever. And weakened forever. Man, it's just a bunch of Debo sliding back and forth, isn't it? You have to start tearing these guys down. Can't keep playing this debuff game forever. The longer that goes on, the more damage we're going to end up taking. Why are you both attack? Stop that. What do you think you're doing? No. No. Oh, we just kill all of you. Okay. 11 strength is really good. Immolate is so much strength. Could be crazy. Or we just get our Carnage back and our Impervious. That sounds good. So should I upgrade that? Extra energy. Oh, Snekalai. Let's go crazy with Snekalai. It's been a while. It's been that long. Let's think about Velvet Choker. Sneko, I uh, can do a similar thing, but it's potentially more fun. Or just kills us very quickly. Yeah, who knows. And I'm feeling confident enough to take this, maybe this left route. We'll see how, we'll see how this all turns out. One, two, three. So... You will die and will take no damage. And by die, we go down on You fall down. Whatever. It's, you get it. Can I exhume that seeing red again? That seems really good. 
Well, it's in flame. So let's exhume the seeing red. Gain the energy back. Draw the sword flying around. Hit him for a good 13, and then do nothing? Alright. This might work out. We're getting lucky. I mean, it's all luck in the draw. We could draw everything cost 3 and just die. Heavy Blade would be so good now. <laughs> what do I take? Do I take anything? I'll throw an Armaments in here kind of reluctantly, but I mostly just want more, you know, the more expensive cards now. For the sake of Sneko Eye. I hit him with Shockwave, he at least burns Shockwave and burns his artifacts. Not that big of a deal, but eh. This guy can hit really hard. Oh yeah, let's just take zero damage here. And keep our seven strength. Our nice pleasant seven strength. Can Bash cars no sword rings forty damage. Like that's That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Yeah. Glad I took Sword Ring. Heavy Blade, that's the thing I'm looking for. Throw one of those in here. Ah, oh, which way? Well, we can go this way, because then we can choose, still choose where we're going. No, I don't lose all my gold. So I'm fighting you guys. Cost one. Why don't I even? What do I mean? Go upgrade to that. I suppose I just have a sword boomerang go out, and then I let's draw some cards. I wanna. There we go. That's much better. And then I'll strike you. What can I exhume for free? A shock. <laughs> oh, you're weak and vulnerable for the entire fight. Then bear grabs us, which is a problem. I don't have any extra strength yet. In one energy, lets us impervious into dropping our inflame, and we just one shot. I suppose you were not taking any damage this turn anyway. We can take bear, bear down. The impervious just does too much block. They can't get through that. Do some more damage in here. Thank you. Ten, you're not gonna die. <laughs> Only one of you is gonna die. I guess it has to be Bear. Twelve, eight, fifteen, four, eight, twelve. Yeah. Bear, no. Oh no, he killed Bear. Think I misplayed this and could have got through this fight without taking any damage. I like having red mask around. Are we exhausting sentinels at all? Are we gaining a lot of block at all? Getting some block and body slam zero. Pretty good. Don't think I'm exhausting sentinel ever. Body slam gonna be so much damage with the uh, impervious. So that's free. I really like that. It's no spot weakness. We can. Hit you for 88 damage. That, that seems good, right? Just one shotting, one shotting that enemy. That's that seems pretty pretty all right. I don't want you to hurt me. Why are you? Why is everything? See, sometimes everything's really expensive for no reason, and you just have to manage. Doesn't matter very much. Regen potion, vulnerability, skill potion. I'm gonna take the ah no vulnerables. It's really good. Damn skills are fine. We we don't need regen right now. A free havoc. 
Nah, because it's not free, because it's Nekoi. Another spot weakness is probably too much. Clash, terrible idea, I think. I'm gonna skip. Oh, you're already vulnerable, so I don't feel like I need Shockwave. If I don't Shockwave, I'm doing a... Inflame... Carnage, Strike... Strike, combo, killing one of you. Now they're only attacking. Okay. Take two damage. This isn't looking super good so far. Seeing red for some energy. Let's... Shrug it off so I can get a card drawn here. Oh, if only I had more energy. Well, I can exhume seeing red to get five energy to do this. Still take no damage, I need one shot. Now just sky at 38. This guy at 38. Vulnerable. Strike. 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 Okay. Yo, Sneko Eye, why are you so good? We can take Searing Blow just as an upgraded attack. Uh, upgraded as in it has two, cost two, so it's like a slightly stronger attack. Sword Boomerang, I have enough strength, I probably want another Sword Boomerang. I don't like taking all these cheap cards in here, though. I feel like our deck's getting real fat with stuff we really actually don't want. Uh, I don't want to take all this damage. Let's shrug it off. Okay. Got a little bit of extra strength, we take no damage. We are weakened though. Ah, uh, this boy's gonna weaken us. This boy's gonna be a big problem too. We need to kill you guys. We don't have much AoE in here. Inflame 2, we can hit 3, we can just kill the wizard. It's probably a good idea. Oh, eyes are way too vulnerable to have him charging up his massive attack. Like <laughs> this guy's massive attack. Do I have to? Imper yeah, alright. Something I could have avoided. Here we... Armaments, the sword boomerang. And we make him vulnerable. And hit him with that sword boomerang for 40 damage. Free inflame, so our strength raises. Don't want to be weak. I don't want any of you guys to hurt me. So I'm not gonna let you hurt me. This is a Therios I have to play. A ther a th what is it? <laughs> I can't play it so it doesn't exhaust. Yeah, you yeah, you get them, boys. Let's mash. I suppose might as well draw a card. Maybe it got zero, nope. Sneko eye. Some turns are great, some turns aren't so great. Oh, he's just dead now, right? Like, yeah. Can I get a good, expensive card? Corruption's not it. Feed! Oh, we could get a little bit of HP out of that. We're getting a fat deck. <laughs> a real, real, real fat deck. Um, exhausting car is too aggressive. Exhausting our skills seems way too aggressive. Feed, how far along are we? Eh, we can gain a little bit of HP out of it. Upgrading cards. Heavy Blade would be good. Body Slam doesn't matter because cost upgrades don't matter. Just upgrade feed. Upgrading armaments is great. That way it's everything else upgrade all the time. Yeah, just upgrade armaments. You you know, you know, you know how to do. This is not a good opening for us at all. <laughs> Real bad. Alright, yeah, I need a, a good hand. Let's gain the one extra energy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's 40 damage. So we can do this. We can gain our impervious, so we can body slam that guy and eat him up. Just 
going to Carnage, one of you. Can exhume Impervious. I don't think I need to do that, though. Maybe I do want to do that. 6 12, 18. Cost 2. Get plus 1. I mean, if I can exhume Feed. Then damage, 2 damage, 1 damage. Problem is, I can't. Quite kill him. Let's exhume impervious. I don't take any damage. All right. <laughs> Can I get better rolls on my costs? Should just if I was gonna take damage anyway. Should just exhume feed and aid him. At least I'm taking any damage here. Yeah. Yeah. Probably could kill him that Carnage, because he's already vulnerable. No longer become weakened, thank you. Double tap could be insanely good in this deck. This could also be really good. Don't go with that so aggressive, but I like it. The aggression's been killing us, but it's also kind of like what we need to do. Alright. Throw this free shockwave. Just keep them vulnerable and weak forever. Double tap feed. Feed's doing 15 damage. That's 13 damage, but they're minions, and this doesn't count for minions. So I shall double tap the boomerang. Which... Uh, enough to kill the... What was that shield gremlin? Didn't pay attention what kind of gremlin that was. One of the gremlins. Spot weakness. And do I think... Inflame. And we just one-shot that guy out of here. Ugh. The, man, all the crowd control is very annoying. Get it. Oh, we're not done here yet. I'm gonna do nothing. Could upgrade with armaments, but then I'm not doing anything. So then we're gonna do that. Into the sword boomerang. Oh, this is, what, 45 damage? So, Alright. Can I kill you now? Is there a way I'm gonna be able to kill you? We don't have body slam. I can spot weakness here. Sword Boomerang is a lot of damage and probably do some work. Wow, I was like... I was really hoping it would kill you or kill you or, you know, something helpful. Trying to end the fight a little bit faster and it didn't work out well for me. 47 damage, too much. I need to kill him not as hard. So I can feed on him. Got it. Little more damage I really wanted. Another heavy blade. Yeah, get in here. Shop would be great, but I want the healing. Oh, we go this way, heal shop. We get some upgrades in here. You know what? That's probably a good idea. Let's, let's, let's take advantage of our ability to get a shop. Let's just heal our right up to full. Wow, beautiful. Our sword boomerang might be a little aggressive. Let's skip these. Want our deck all plugged. Ooh, bites for 30% or max HP. I'm really uncomfortable losing 30% max HP. I don't. The vampire's question mark is a scary event. Not at all lose a third of our HP. Because he just takes so, so much burst damage so quickly in this game. Let's upgrade a card. One of these heavy blades or the feed. That might be a little late for the feed. So I wanted to have it, find have it floating around. Having the heavy blade just hit harder, I think might be a good idea. Go here. What can you do for me? Chemical X is so good if we had any X cards, which we have. Zero X cards, but so good. But we have no X cards. Can't get any X cards. Okay, two of our attacks is fine. Start with extra card draws, really good. Don't need zero cost cards, that's dumb. I think we remove a card. Remove one of our strikes, certainly. 
and then we upgrade two of our attacks. Okay, not ones I wanted to see. Do I get another double tap? I don't think so. I think one double tap's enough. Maybe a ghostly armor for the extra block. Or do we do nothing? Don't want to rupture for like one evil kinesis. That seems silly. We have enough going on. I don't need any of these cards. Like ghostly armor's the only one I'm really, really leaning towards. Oh, here we upgrade more cards. Oh, double tap for next two cards. Yeah, do that. That's that'd be crazy. All right. But nothing to exhume. Wow, nothing to do really on my first turn here. I guess we sword boomerang and pass or sword boomerang body slam. We can gambler's brew to have a better turn. But I don't need. It's only the first turn. I don't feel like I need to burn that potion already. I should have drawn first. Free bash. Eager these orbs. They're problems. It hits me mildly. He just got my impervious. I want that back. Okay, just get out of my hand so I can see it more clearly. Uh, Shockwave. Gets you vulnerable. I like that. And a double tap strike is the best I can do here. Don't you hyper beam me soon? I feel like he's gonna hit me really hard soon. Okay. Sword of Ring. There we go, got my impervious back. Which I can use to just not take any damage here. Which is lame, but then it's Exhumed could come around and get it back for me when I need it in the future. Because you want to, of course, Hyper Beam's still a thing. It's going to happen. Wow. Wow. Uh, I don't like this hand at all. Try again. Don't like this much better. <laughs> this is, ah, uh, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Because now here comes some pain. Pervious, I don't think I'll be free. Can at least hit him really hard for basically nothing, and then throw in a little extra defense. Could have been a much worse turn, and then he's stunned. Unfortunately, he's not attacking, so I can't spot his weakness. I probably should have made him vulnerable first. That was silly. For some reason, I was thinking he still had a artifact on. Of course, he does not. Five block. Then I can only hit him twice. Which is silly. Let's strike him. Hit him for 34. It's going to take 32 damage. What else am I going to do? Just a strike. That's 34. That is less than 34 because that's how math works. All right. It's a painful 32 damage, but he's gonna be dead now. Just like right meow. He's gone. There's no way I can't kill him here. <laughs> Just, there's no way, right? There's no way. Fiendfire. It's fine. Barricade. It's a real good power. Oh, another improvistic barricade. Because we have the, the cost, doesn't really matter. Two or fewer cards, you can no longer smith at rest sites. We have enough upgraded cards, I think I'm going to take Fusion Hammer. Our card's pretty well upgraded. And now we can be even more aggressive about elites, because we, we have nothing to do at rest sites other than heal with our Regal Pillow. <laughs> it's all elites with no rest, though. That's terrifying. No, thank you. Wow. So it's like five elite fights with no rest site, or a bunch of rest sites with barely any elite fights. Might as well go the way that has the shop halfway up. Alright, we're going barricade. We're going purpies.
And we're going to destroy you guys. It'd be an easy fight. <laughs> it's the only one. It's the only one that would be a problem is Spiker, but with our uh, barricade, we should never take any damage and be okay forever. No matter how high this, these spikes get, no matter how sharp his spikes are. I can't kill you. That makes me very sad. I can't eat you. I can't feed. I can't consume you. Uh, do I just wait for feed to come back around? I guess so. I do want to get that. No! Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> Letter opener, you're gonna kill him! Stop! I need to. Nom 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 nom. Another heavy blade, a perfected strike. That is upgraded. Do we have enough strikes? How many strikes do we have? Like, three strikes. That's not worth it. Four strikes? I don't think that's worth it. Severed Soul exhausts all non-attack cards for some damage. We don't need non-attack cards severed. We don't need zero cost card for Snekoi. Oh, it's another heavy blade. Alright. My a little heavy on the heavy blades. I think now. I'd rather not take any damage here. This is going to be very painful for him, isn't it? <laughs> it's incredibly painful. Uh, I don't need the dexterity over the card draw. Card draw is really important for Snekalai. Deck. Don't want these. Let's go in. Which way? Let's audit my path. Alright, I was going that way. What do you guys do again? Do you wound me? You do wound. I don't have a lot of AoE. This is actually a concern. Oh, uh, this is a big concern. What we can do, though. Barricade. Impervious. And then kill one of them. Thirty-four for one, but then I have nothing else to play that one. We can draw three cards. Figure it out. Well, really, I just need you dead. Yeah, I'll play the carnage so it doesn't, you know, burn. Doesn't exhaust. All right. Painful turn. We'll be okay. Aren't you a minion? You are a minion. I don't really need to eat you. I doubt it's going to come back around though in time, so I'm just going to throw it at you for damage. Because everyone keeps something these stabby daggers. I don't want to deal with stabby daggers for, for a long time. Fine, none of these are necessary. We're going here. No, no. Yeah. Yeah, going that. Okay. Just make sure we're on the correct path. Oh, burn carnage. We have so many attacks, it's fine. We don't, we don't need carnage. Gain that energy back. Gain a little block. It's gonna burn on my block. Ouch. Oh, we have a rest site coming up. An easy rest site. And now you shouldn't hit me again. If I'm lucky, I can eat him. Or you just, you just <laughs> we just kill him too fast. Uh, close line implies weakness. Barricade, all oh, free barricade. Just get that out there immediately. We upgrade everything. 
deal damage to you. I don't want you exploding. I really desperately don't want you exploding. We start next turn at 13 block. Give me for 11. We can take 11 damage. I can... Solar Boomerang, or a... Uh... Just do that. You, you saw what I did. I don't need to explain it. Double tap both Heavy Blades. Even though we have no strength right now. Offering so good. <laughs> Even if it costs two, it still draw three cards. So I think I'm going to take it. Which seems crazy to take a zero cost card when we have Snack Alive, but... It refunds the energy and still gives us the card draw. Double tap a nice buffed sword boomerang. Which really crushed that guy. Which we can then... Ah, that's like a waste of carnage, though. Because you'll die to... You'll die to it anyway. So it's like a weaken you. Ah, you're gonna... Yeah. Okay, to do that. So you're both almost dead. But I just kill you. You hit me for eight. It's whatever. We finish you off. Can I feed you? I don't think I can feel well, I can gain one extra energy doing that. That is too much damage. I need a two cost attack that brings him down to 14, which is just not quite in the cards, literally. And that's too expensive. Ah, feed, why you gotta be so expensive? Oh, he's dead. Not gonna rack my brain too hard for that. Fruit juice, ooh, five max HP. Get rid of your vulnerability. There, we have enough vulnerabilities floating around. Two cost power, which gives a little extra damage ultimately. I'm gonna go to this shop. That's where I'm going. This guy could be a real pain. So many cards, too many cards. You can offering back again. Still too much. Hit him with that. Uh, not loving what we have to do so far. Shockwave him. Body slam. I am thinking we just exhume our offering back. Because our turn never ends. Eventually it ended. <laughs> I took like a lot of, I actually took a lot of damage done to myself. But he, uh, I don't want to be sitting around while he strangles me. I know it was a little aggressive on the offerings. It's a clever trick that we don't necessarily need to be playing like that. Oh, just get full HP, why not? We're gonna get full HP again. We get some choices, don't need Perfect Strike, already covered that, and Corruption, no, don't need that either. Potion Bell, hey, Yeah, I can buy a potion if I want to. Uh, Pummels needs some damage. What are you? Ran five random potions, got some potions. It is new. Whenever you play three or less cards, draw three additional cards. We have not had that yet. Could be useful. Might take because it's new, and then also with a Sneko Eye. Extra card draw is amazing, and we could have a terrible turn. We don't have enough cards to play. Which could be very, very brutal. Could be really bad for us. And then so having the extra card draw could take care of that. And taking cards could be a problem. And he's vulnerable, take 75% more. Well, that's also really good. I'm going to take Paper Frog over the new card. I don't have any curses lur lurking that I forgot about now. Because we have vulnerabilities floating around anyway, and we have so much strength and damage, I can just really, really amp our damage. Even though it's not as cool as the new one. Whenever cards exhausted, draw a card. We're not really exhausting a lot of cards. We have a few. Yeah, we have a handful of exhaustions. Not enough to, I don't think, to justify Dark Embrace. You! On my, my friend. Should double tap that. Don't go too crazy, this guy. We just need to be patient. Just hit him hard enough that he doesn't kill us. Cat, how? Do you oh, it's the other cat. I was like, I already let you out, cat. What are you doing? Who are you? It's the other, it's the other animal. The other one. Don't think we're gonna kill him. There's a achievement for doing so. 
Gain two energy. Oh, I'm not going to cycle the deck. Just fight. It doesn't last that long. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh oh, he's he's is fine. It's fine. He's he's done. All right. Well, last turn, eighty damage. Shrug it off. It was open ring. I'll I'll, I'll I'll let you out. It's a big old baby. There, there. We're fine. Zero damage. We're done. Take it. Mammal conference in the office, as always. Just get like an animal door to put in there. Don't want any of these. Free juggernaut, I like. Maybe should have upgraded it. I know you're going to gain block shit, hit you, because you're a block and you're going to be harder to kill, and these guys are just going to respawn. Don't need to offering, but I will take damage anyway. So let's do the offering. Change my mind, we're offering. I have four. I don't think really to double tap. Throw out some debuffs though. Just one shot that guy, but I. 16, not gonna take any damage. We don't want to have them regenerating all the time. We don't want them uh, off sync of dying. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's much better. Another heavy blades upgraded. So many heavy blades, like maybe a little too many heavy blades. Can I get any of you with a feed? Twenty-one damage, twenty-four damage, thirty-four. So I do get to eat you. Delicious, and then uh, hit you. So many debuffs. What a terrible. This is awful. No one's attacking. So I'll just. gain some strength and destroy you. Hey, 100 HP. Alright. Easy one this time. Consume the feed, yeah, it's not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna kill him, we're not gonna wait for it to cycle all the way back. I'm just gonna. We'll just finish him off. But I don't wanna take damage either? Effective strikes. Not enough strikes. Even even with snack eye, no strikes for for the strikes. Not just not let's get out of here. We don't need food. We don't need to get out of here. We're fighting the boss. All right, don't do Deca. Barricade's a great way to start this out. Otherwise, kind of weak. Uh, let's draw some cards. I want a much stronger first turn. There we go. How much that cost? Two. <laughs> Well, I pull that out, then have a really strong first turn barricade. I think I do want my inflame out right now. Uh, ASAP, even though it costs three. We want that strength pumping. Very slow fight, guys. Don't do Deku that scary. Don't do Deka that scary. Three, we lose one, but get to draw a lot of cards. Probably worth it. Gives us two heavy blades to play. Two heavy blades, a close line, like a strike or feed or something. That's only 29 damage. 
can also drop steroid potion. I think I want to drop steroid potion on a turn. Eh, we're attacking what one, two, three, four times, or three times. We can probably have a better steroid turn than that. Oh, if I don't play Carnage Burn, do I care? I don't care that much. We have a lot of beefy cards in here anyway. Play a defense. So you're dead with that. I'd rather have that hit you. 10 30, you're not gonna kill him, so I have to do it like that. Alright, seems like Donadeca, level 15, if you're gonna go down. That today's session started real rough. He's vulnerable, I'd have you blade him for 85. And strike him. Gonna get. Should have fit. Like, what, am I gonna eat him? What am I wasting my time with that for? Uh, let's exhume my impervious. And then body slam him. And now he's even steroid potion. So it's about better use it this turn. If I can double tap, uh, spot weakness, seeing red, and then we just hit him for all the damage. All right, yeah, that was that was a good solid basic run. None too exciting there. Snekoi, I guess. I mean, it was Snekoi. Snekoi is pretty much Snekoi can be incredibly powerful. Sometimes it just kills you, but it's so strong. Especially if you have a deck that already accommodates it. If you have like a cheap combo deck, then Snekwai can destroy you. But if you have a couple expensive cards in there, uh, then it could be crazy. I think it works really well for Ironclad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like, join the video, subscribe for more, follow me on Twitch. I'll see you guys next time. Your obscure compliment is you'd be a great Sneko Snake. I may have used that one before. Regardless, see you later.